Okay, so Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. A couple of things I'm excited about with this. I'm excited about the fact that Elizabeth Olsen's Scarlet Witch is making a return. I think that's needed. I think it's necessary. I've missed her since WandaVision. I've also missed Paul Bettany since uh, WandaVision too. Um, yeah, Benedict Cucumber Patch, who can be seen at the moment in The Power of the Dog. Uh, I thought it was quite a good comic turn that he did in... Um, Spider-Man No Way Home. I thought, you know, that was great with his mug and all that kind of... He was the comic foil, really, in that film. Um, my only slight problem with Doctor Strange is, is that he's so supremely powerful. He can create such supremely successful sort of spells uh, and cast these amazing sort of time portal loops that you sort of think that nothing could be beyond him. Um, I mean, I did like the fact that in Spider-Man he opened the wrong portal and effectively all the villains from previous Spider-Man films came in. Um, and this whole multiverse thing, I don't know what you make of it, but it, I mean, obviously it's a very rich device for Marvel and other franchises to kind of access old characters, to inter sort of populate and intermix and intertwine characters from that wouldn't normally, you know, entwine with each other. For example, the three Spider-Men that you get in Spider-Man No Way Home. Um, so this is, they, they're promising a multiverse of madness. So, I mean, it's pretty much baked into the idea of a multiverse that is going to be pretty mad in there. It's going to be a bit batshit crazy, isn't it, in a multiverse? You're going to be seeing a lot of weird shit. You're going to be meeting a lot of people you didn't want to meet. You're going to be coming across yourself, probably, in many different manifestations. So, yeah, I think we can be promised a lot of red, swirly CGI. That seems to come around with Doctor Strange a lot. Swirly, red CGI. A lot of this and a lot of holes. And if you add to that Scarlet Witch's, all of this stuff, there's gonna be a lot of hand action, a lot of gesticulating, a lot of genuflecting in this trailer. So should we check it out? Every night, I dream the same dream. begins. I did what I had to do. To protect our world. You cannot control everything, Strange. You opened the doorway between universes. And we don't know who or what will walk through it. Wanda. What do you know about the multiverse? Viz had his theories. He believed it was dangerous. He was right. I'm sorry, Stephen. Your desecration of reality will not go unpunished. We should tell him the truth. Things just got out of hand. You break the rules. Look out! You become a hero. I do it, I become the enemy. It was Doctor Strange, but like monsters coming out. Doctor Strange got cubed. It's like he smashed his head against one of those, you know, those machines that chops apples into cubes. It was like his... <laughs> Elizabeth Olsen, Scarlet Witch, Wanda, whatever you want to call her. Did you notice that they were on the set of WandaVision at one point there? 
Wow. And then she's sort of pushing away herself. And then we went into her eyeball. Oh, I love that. There's a whole multiverse just in Elizabeth Olsen's eyeball. One of them. And then imagine the other multiverse in the other eyeball. Um, Tourette Elijah 4 in there. Um, what, what was the voice saying? We've got to tell him something. I mean, I do often worry that, um, as I said before, that with uh, Doctor Strange, it, it just gets a bit kind of whooshy and a bit kind of whew, and lots of gateways and portals and doorways. And in fact, he came through a door and he was floating. And, you know, I find this floating around in this nebulous space a challenge. It's not to say I'm not going to go for it, but I find it a bit of a challenge. Um, and I noticed also it was almost like... Um, uh, James Gunn's um, starfish with an eyeball has, has landed in a Marvel film. They were fighting an eyeball, weren't they? It was in more of an octopus this time. A lot to like there, a lot to like there, a lot to get excited about. Directed by the absolute legend Sam Raimi, uh, who, Raimi, Raimi, who, uh, of course, way back when, directed The Evil Dead. 